Hey guys, I'm out in LA this week for some meetings and producing a couple records, but it's time for the first vlog of 2018. Let's do it. Gather up you weary souls, show them you ain't dead. Tell them all you ain't coming home. Woo, rise. Woo, rise. Woo. Hey guys, I'm out in sunny Southern California this week in Los Angeles for meetings and a couple rights and a couple production meetings for records I'm gonna be producing. But I'm really pumped and excited about 2018 and this is the first vlog of 2018 and I think it's gonna be a good one. Today I wanna to talk about boxes. We all find comfort in boxes. They're a safe place to store things and we can label them to know exactly what's on the inside. When talking about moving from one house to another or one office to another or one studio to another, they're a great thing. Boxes are awesome. It takes the guesswork out of unpacking. I mean, it's a great idea. You know exactly what goes where and what's in that box. But is it a great idea for your career in music? Is it a great idea for an artist or a songwriter to put themselves in a box and put a label on that box? Is it a good label? Is it a good idea to put yourself in a box. I always encourage the artists that I produce and do artist development for to not put themselves in a box and not to label themselves. When you say I'm a country singer or I'm a pop artist or I write country music or I write rock music, when you do any of those things you're putting yourself in a box. But I think the music business today is way too subjective for boxes and labels. I mean, you gotta really honestly think about it. One man's pop or country may not be the next man's pop or country. And the reason that I'm saying this is because I'm a firm believer in letting the audience dictate who you are and what your style is and what your genre is. Let them put you in the box that they feel most comfortable with. I, for one, I. I don't think that it's the artist's job to dictate to the fan what or who they are. Um, your fans don't really care about genre. Um, the research shows that there's really two formats of music these days. It's music people like and music people don't like. Um, it's all over the board. When you turn on a country radio station, you hear pop. When you hear turn on a pop radio station, you hear urban and R&B and rock and country and everything else that you can think of. So, you know, I think it's best to allow your fans and allow your potential fans to, to listen to your music and get to know you as an artist and go, I'm going to put them in this box. Because in all honesty, when you think about it, if you go out there and you put yourself in that box, right out of the gate, you're eliminating 50% of your potential fan base. What one person thinks is country, somebody else thinks is pop. What somebody thinks is pop, they may you may think is country. Um, so you don't want to eliminate anybody when it comes to your potential fan base. So that's why I say don't put yourself in a box. Don't put your music in a box. Don't make that determination for your fans. Let them determine that on their own. I mean, seriously, if you stopped the random person on the street and asked to see their iTunes library, you'll find that people aren't loyal to a certain format for the most part. They're, they're loyal to songs that they like. You'll find playlists with Taylor Swift, Keith Urban, Chance the Rapper, Bon Jovi, Daya, The Chainsmokers, Tim McGraw, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and then a little bit of Metallica, and just about every other combination that you can come up with. So. Think real hard about and before you go out there and tell people that I am this, that you plant your flag with one specific thing because you might regret it and you might regret it pretty quickly. And that's the one thing that you don't want to do is eliminate anybody when it comes to putting new music out there, putting yourself out there as an artist. You know, another term we hear thrown around absolutely all the time is outside the box. You know, it means that although outside its confines, there's still a box that we're referring to. Why not get rid of the box altogether and start your relationship with your fans with absolutely no preconceived notions whatsoever. Even saying, look at me, I'm outside the box is still pointing to the box. And 
If you talk to A&R reps, you talk to people in the industry, they all say they're looking for something different and they're looking for something outside the box. But they're really not, because when they talk about outside the box, they're pointing directly at the box. They're still referring to one specific thing. So I say don't do it at all. Um, on social media all the time, I get a kick out of artists I've worked with and, and just other artists out there that, you know, it's hashtag country singer, hashtag pop artist. And I encourage them so much, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, what if half the people that might get to know you as an artist or might consider listening to your music, they see that and then they go, oh, well, I don't like country music. So I'm not even going to check out this artist's music because I don't like country music. And if you think that doesn't happen, then you're crazy because believe me, it happens. That's why we label things. We label things so that we know exactly what they are. If you walk down the aisles in the grocery store, you'll see it. Chips, crackers, soft drinks, candy, fresh produce. That's great for shopping malls and grocery stores, but it's not great for music. And it is not great for a, especially a new and emerging artist career to tell people exactly what you are because the minute that you make that determination for them, that's who you are forever. And you know, we all hate that thing about crossing over and know they're crossing over. Well, if you'd never told people, no, this is what you call me, this is what I am, then you would never get accused of crossing over into anything. Just be an artist that makes great music. And then you let your fans and potential fans and all the new people that you want to draw into your music and into your career, let them determine where they want to put it. Let If they think you're pop, that's great. If they think you're country, that's great. If they think you're rock, that's great because they are the only people that matter. The only people that matter. Even artists that have a major label record deal or an independent artist uh, that has an independent label deal. The label spends so much time trying to build these boxes and then stuff these artists in them and, and then shove them out to the world. When the world's a huge place, the world musically is so much bigger than Nashville. It's so much bigger than here in Los Angeles. Appeal to everybody. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't let anybody else put you in a box. Be a great artist that makes great music. If you want to classify yourself as something, classify yourself as a great artist that makes great music, that says, you know what, I don't care if you consider it country, I don't care if you consider it pop, I don't care if you consider it rock. All I care about is that you actually consider it. I mean, that's what really matters. What people do with it on the back end shouldn't be your concern. What they label it, it shouldn't matter. But if you don't label yourself, then you eliminate all the preconceived ideas. So whether your goal is to get signed to a major label or be a successful independent artist, be, mold be moldable. Let your fans decide where to put you. Don't make that determination for them. I get why we do it, because it makes us feel safe, it makes us feel secure, it makes us feel a part of something, like we're on a team or we're a part of something larger than ourselves. Let's just all pause for a second to appreciate the, the leaf blower, shall we? Does anybody know what key that's in? This is typically why you don't film stuff outside when you have the dialogue and you have the microphones and everything. Seriously, I mean, how many leaves could there possibly be on a street where there's no trees? Anyway, back to what I was saying. I get why we do this. I get why artists want to put themselves in a box because it makes us feel safe and secure. It makes us feel a part of something specific and larger than ourselves. You feel like you're joining a fraternity or a sorority, but remember, if you're looking for safe and secure, you're in the wrong business. I'll tell you that right now. The music business is neither safe nor secure. Country artists want to be pop stars because the pop audience is bigger, which means more exposure, more record sales, larger tours. And pop artists want to be country artists because the fan base is historically extremely loyal. Small in comparison but loyal and there is a much better chance of being a big fish in the small country pond so i get it but i'm telling you now it's not worth it
forget about the safety and security. Just be a great artist and make great music and let your fans determine where they want to put it and what box and they want to put you in, what label they want to take their Sharpie and write on the outside of it because that's all that really matters. Long story short, here's what I'm saying. Don't pick a lane, be the highway. That's what I'm saying. Don't pick a horse, bet on every single horse in the race. And don't put yourself in a box. Place yourself on the shelf for others to see and decide for themselves where to put you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's vlog on boxes, unboxing the box. I want to remind you, if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Some interesting content and just really awesome stuff is going to be going on in 2018, and I don't want you to miss out on a single second of it. So right down there, click that subscribe button. You can also hit the little bell button right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new vlog. And uh, it's been an awesome week so far out here in Los Angeles, having a blast. I'm filming some content that I'm going to put up on the channel for it, and I uh, hope you guys all enjoy that as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at the Steve Freeman. Hope you found today's vlog awesome, helpful. If you ever have any questions, leave it in the comments below or shoot me an email. That's also in the description below. Until next time, see you guys then. I gather up your weary souls. Show me